ya fam ni ne foi se tansio alol pase fika te ana utu yono uh, oya uh, ole queen uh, party queen queen party list uh, member a fam ni ne fenga palot pe ona ya a fi fi ne tan alo fa se mai bol tan bo klam ne tan ya te ana utu yono ki orana and welcome to the program talo fa lavan good morning sir Kirana Popongi Man Lien. Hello for everybody. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm 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 good. I'm here in the in the Manawa too. I uh, like the rest of the country waiting for those special votes to be counted so we can find out what the formation of the next government might look like. Oh uh, yeah, talking about counting of the special votes, it's gonna be tomorrow. Is there anything that you're expecting from the counting of the special votes tomorrow? Yeah, um, well, we, we'll get a. I I mean, they're due tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Uh, like, generally, the special votes favour those of us on, on the left, uh, but that's generally, this was a very different election. Yeah. Um, so we're hopeful that we're going to get uh, one, you know, maybe two seats. Uh, but, you know, that remains to be that remains to be seen. It will just depend on, yeah, how the votes fall yeah. on the day tomorrow. How does that mean for the Green Party if... if you, you, you're going to um, win another two seats, please, uh, Tiana. Um, the the right got quite a lot of. They've got quite a lot of seats, so it would have to be a very dramatic um, number of votes to fall our, our way, sort of our way, the Green Party, Labor Party, and Party Māori for us to form yeah, a government. Yeah, um, I can't true. actually see that happening, yeah. but uh, you know. Wondrous things can can happen. Uh, well, yeah. what it will mean is that um, that the National Party will have to rely on New Zealand first to form yeah. a government. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Lele, how did you feel after the election on the fourteenth? You must be you must be excited, brother. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I, I'm, I am our first Sipakainen yeah. MP for the Green Party, so I was excited that we got Fanana Official Collins. Yeah. In, so we are double our Pacifica Greens caucus, and uh, me and Official we go way back. We're at university together, mm. so um, I've known him for a very, very long time, um, and I'm stoked to have him in uh, Parliament. Okay, talking about Fanana Official Collins, um, when was the last time you had the talk with him? Uh, yesterday, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah we, we well, we're all in regular contact. Yeah. All of our new MPs, you know, across all the political parties. They're down in Parliament at the moment, um, getting going through um, Parliament induction, mm. sort of learning the ropes, select committees, um, that kind of thing as well. So he's been busy doing that, and uh, my role is to support him. Yeah. Okay, Tano, um, there was a bill uh, by you that was uh, pulled up from the um, from the ballot box at the Parliament, yes. uh, I think a few months ago. Before we talk about the bill, can you take us through and tell us how do you, I mean, drafting of the bill and what time you had to put in the ballot box? And yeah, yeah, tell us about this, please, sir. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a for folks a bit of a background oh. around how Parliament how Parliament works. Mm. So you have uh, you have a, a number of different types of legislation that go through the house. Most of the legislation that goes through the house is our uh, government bills. Right. So whoever has the majority of the day, they they push through the majority of the bills. You can have a small number of local bills, uh, and then, which is about city councils, regional councils, working in with them. But then you have private members' bills. Mm. So anybody from across the house in any political party can draft a piece of legislation, and then it gets put into the uh, what we call a biscuit, the biscuit tin. It's literally right. a biscuit tin. Yeah. Um, and uh, once a slot becomes free on the on the on the order paper, you pull out one of the you pull out one of the yeah they do they do a kind of lottery mm. and then you know whether your bill has been pulled out. So my one got pulled out uh, a couple of months ago. So pretty stoked about that. Um, yeah, so that's that's the process of how private members' bills are done. Okay, tell us about tell us about the bill, please, uh, Tiano, if if you can. This bill uh, follows on from the work that was done around the Dawn Raids apology, mm -hmm. something that we advocated for and supported. So, incredibly stoked that that happened for our community. But there was, in my view, a lot of unfinished business with the with the Dawn Raids apology. It was a step to something else, um, and I want to acknowledge the amazing work that Opet or. Mm. Um, our previous Minister of Pacific Peoples did in that space. It was great to see, and I know right. that was felt by many of our of our people. But 
I, I saw it as a step to other things. Uh, for example, an amnesty for overstayers, that was something that we continued to push. I wanted to see that folded in. I think there's still an opportunity to push for that as well. Mm. Many people from our uh, from uh, our Samoan community reached out to me and says, hey, if we're, as another part of this whole uh, chapter of making sure we do the right thing because of the dawn race, we need to get rid of the Western Samoa Citizenship Act. Mm. And for a bit of history there, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing folks know, probably know yeah. more about this than me, um, it was a piece of legislation that came through the House which took away the citizenship rights of Samoans mm. uh, to be able to become New Zealand citizens. And here I want to acknowledge uh, yeah. all the and all the other people around the community that rallied um, around uh, around that getting that recognition as well. So mm. uh, that piece of legislation is still on the government books, still yeah. on the statute books, and I think it's important for us to remove that yeah. and, pro- and to provide a pathway for... Uh, for those elders that are still with us, if they want mm. to be able to get their New Zealand citizenship. Okay, so how long from now before we have this uh, bill passed in the parliament, uh, please, Tana? Uh, it'll be debated in the House. Yeah. Um, so what happens is, like, uh, the bill has been pulled out uh, uh, of 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 the, of the biscuit tin, mm. and it has to get has to get through three readings. So there'll be a first reading uh, where I will introduce the bill and yeah. talk about it. Uh, and if, if it gets enough support around the House, whether the National Party, Labour Party, ACT Party, Māori Party, mm. and us support it, gets enough, enough votes, then it will go to the select committee yeah. where the community can have more input into into it. So I have been reaching out to different political parties, in yeah. particular the National Party, because it looks like they're going to be forming the next government mm. uh, to see if they will support this bill. I, I hope so. Yeah, uh, well, let's hope let, let's hope it will be passed in the parliament. Uh, now, the bill uh, restoring citizenship removed by citizen uh, citizen Western Samoa Act 1982 uh, bill. What does it mean if if it, this bill will will, will pass in the parliament, uh, please, uh, Tiana? Uh, what it will what it will mean is that that um, in practical terms that piece of legislation will be repealed from the statute books. Mm. Uh, the other part of it is that there will be a pathway for those elders that are still with us to to, to get their citizenship as well. Because um, when I, I spoke to a few people, they said, well, actually, uh, this was a really important issue for me and I would like to get my New Zealand citizenship right. as well. Uh, mm. But it also creates another conversation around a whole lot of other issues as well. Uh, I'm, I am mindful that I am from a small political party and that we are in opposition and I have no leverage at all. There's mm. no political numbers with me, so it relies on me trying to have those conversations across the political spectrum yeah. and I'm hoping that people see this the same way that I am. Okay, Tiano, I'm sure uh, for all our Samoan people listening, they're all keen to, to have that bill passed in the parliament. So hopefully it will. And what is something that we can do from now? Uh, you, you, you mentioned where the bill is at the moment and the next process of, uh, that it will go through. What can we do from, from now? Maybe praying? Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, prayers are always welcome. Absolutely, I mean it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to come and visit with people and to talk with people okay. about process because I know uh, the the thing with Parliament and with government, it, it can be quite a mysterious place to sort of talk about what the bill could do and what it also can't do because I'm just a, you know, I'm, I'm a backbencher mm. MP and it's from a small political party, so yeah. wanting that to happen as well. Yeah. If there are people who are listening that are in the National Party or in the Labour Party, so some mm. people that are in National or in Labour, uh, I would ask them to, to advocate, uh, to talk to their local MPs, to talk to their elected MPs, yeah. uh, and for them to and ask them to support this bill. Mm. Okay, Chanel, before I let you go this morning, sir. Um, now... Three years ago, you were with the government, uh, coalition with the Labour Party. Now, you'll be on the other side of, yeah. of the parliament. What can you do with Fanana, Fisher Collins, and maybe other Pacific MPs, um, making sure that we'll, you, you will uh, be at the opposition and make sure the new government will be, um, will be challenged with, uh, especially the issues about our Pacific Island people, please, Tiana. Yeah. Mm. That, that's a great question. Thank mm. you. 
um, it, it's really important that you have a strong opposition to hold yeah. the government to account. Mm. And so you will see that from myself at Banana Fessel Collins. Mm. Uh, I am particularly concerned about the ACT Party's policy around disestablishing the Ministry for Pacific Peoples. I think this would be terrible for our people. It would be a step backwards. Yeah. So you will see us uh, fighting them on that if that's the direction that they go down. Mm. Um, and uh, we will be, of course, working across the house with other Pacifica uh, MPs to make sure that we can do all the things that we can yeah. within the parliamentary process to support our people. Mm. Okay, te ana o tui ono, uh, tele lava once again, thank you so much for your time. Is there any any other thing you want to talk about before we, we finished? Mm. Yeah, well, just re- just reiterating, you know, if you do have some of those uh, connections in the National Party and the Labour yeah. Party, please uh, reach out to them and, and, and talk to them uh, about that. And also, get engaged in the, in the political process. It's, it's, it's more democratic when there's more of us that are involved and having our voices heard. Yeah. But may talk it on anyway and fuck it on Once again, fuck it on Thank you so much. It's an out to you. Thank you. Uh, Green Party List MP, it's an out to you. Yeah, it's an out to you. It's just your pili na ya to see ya. Yeah, but you don't know the parliament. Malifat boy boy, ola am fayona tala noinam pasi ya. Ele lay mota. Tau, ola am fayona falo tele ne vayanga ya. Ola am fayona tu inato morsi fila chano. Vayanga am fayona susani ma ele sunga ya. Tiana u tu yono fa pena fa ele fiona fa nana efeso Collins ina iya manuele tam fanga ele pili lea ele lei mo ta to tanga ta umala ba samo ame sana yo ta to matua wale vaka wamba wala ku pingshiyonga pe afua ku kemi wale vana sixengi kono yusila ya le ale mo wasi tono le fo ibaenga